Hello and welcome. Now, we get a lot of complaints that we don't feed... <laughs> <laughs> to try and explain the point of the supercar, we thought we'd take one to that huge new bridge in southern France. Whose phone's that? It's not mine. <laughs> Tell it's you that mine. <laughs> not, not now, not now. Oh. Whose phone's that? <laughs> it's my phone. <laughs> um, then we raced a Ferrari Scalietti. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> If you're really hammering on the road, OK, this is probably 6 or 7% better no, than eight, the 8%. Eight eight Who is... What is going on over there? This... Who the f <laughs> has decided to do <laughs> Nazi <laughs> route marching? <laughs> if you're really hammering down a road, OK... <laughs> this fat, talentless shopping assistant. And yes, and you've ended up with a fat, talented shop. Don't come too soon there. Yeah. You never know, like <laughs> It's time for a rare dose of the real world, because I've been driving the sort of car that people actually buy. <laughs> Was that smile a bit too camp at the end? <laughs> it's time now to do the cool wall. <laughs> That's a big silence. Nobody's bothered about the cool walls. Of <laughs> um. And now? Who <laughs> <laughs> think it's the news? You have to have a car registered between 2002 on an 02 plate and 2004 on a 53 plate. That's the important bit. It's got to be in that range. I don't think it's a 53 plate. It is. Five pounds. Is it 53? Five pounds. Is it? Five well, pounds? Fine. No, it's just it's is it? 53. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is 53. It is 53. OK, so... I'll... <laughs> right. James, there's a pause, so it must be you. Incorrect. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Institute of Advanced Motorists, this lot? <laughs> the wheel shuffles. The wheels, they always yes, drive. They do, a lot of that. think I meant? <laughs> <laughs> they always drive. Anyway... <laughs> Now, I'd, uh, I'd like to talk about... Arse. <laughs> Come on, James. Oh. And three, two... Now, I'd like to talk about... <laughs> That's it for this programme and for this series. Why don't you come to England, though, uh, this summer? Cos all the birds have got great tits. Look at this. <laughs> That's it for this programme and, indeed, for this series. But we'll see you soon for more Top Gear on BBC World. <laughs> That's it for this programme and indeed this series. <laughs> That's it for this programme and indeed this series. But we'll see you soon for more Top Gear on BBC World. <laughs> <laughs>
get on with the news properly. <laughs> so, so what we're saying is that this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no! This is bad. Well, I appreciate a lot of that is quite difficult to follow. Not the hoop you see. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't started yet. Yes, it's a, a steaming hot bowl of soup after a long... <laughs> 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 he started that, it wasn't me! He went, I didn't do it! Appreciate, a lot of that is quite difficult to follow. The Porsche 911 range is one of the world's great unfathomables. So let me try and explain it to you in basic English. This is Sharon, OK? Now, Sharon is all woman. She is the 911 Turbo, OK? Now, standing next to her is Vicky. Oh, forgotten. <laughs> <Just twice. laughs> they just put me off. <laughs> just these great orbs. <laughs> Bloody hell. this fat, talentless shopping assistant. And yes, and you've ended up with a fat, talented shop. Don't come too soon there. Yeah. You're a bit like talented. <laughs> it's time for a rare dose of the real world, because I've been driving the sort of car that people actually buy. <laughs> Was that smile a bit too camp at the end? <laughs> it's time now to do the cool wall. <laughs> That's a big silence. Nobody's bothered about the cool walls. Um, <laughs> and now? Who <laughs> <laughs> it's the news? You have to have a car registered between 2002 on an 02 plate and 2004 on a 53 plate. That's the important bit. It's got to be in that range. Oh, bloody hell, you have a car. <laughs> so what we're saying then is that this lovely old car is the embodiment of a... Nice cup of tea in front of a roaring log fire. Yes, it is. It's like settling down in the warm and well-stocked library of a country house with a good book and a Labrador curled up at your feet and nothing to do until it's time to dress for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right, time for the news. Now, it's been officially announced this week that Jeremy Clarkson is an arse. <laughs> Get on with the news properly. <laughs> so, so what we're saying is that this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no! This is bad. Well, I appreciate a lot of that is quite difficult to follow. Look, who you see? <laughs> or Top Gear on BBC World. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this program and indeed this series. <laughs> Well, that's it for this programme and, indeed, this series. But we'll see you soon for more Top Gear on BBC World. <laughs> <laughs> you know the three hardest words for a man to say? Not more. No. <laughs> what I've got here are two Armani jackets, basically identical. In this one, if you look, the label says Armani. OK? Whereas in this one, we've changed the label to... Oh, <laughs> sorry. I've just realised something. It's late and I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the news. Terrible pity about the 350Z, Jeremy not liking it. I wondered if you might like the 350Z <laughs> what? <laughs>